Hello and welcome back to That LI Garage. Today uh, we're going to install an airbag and we're going to go through some uh, diagnostic that I had to go through. I had a problem with the radiator fence. Uh, before we get into that, if you're new to this channel, we, I repair these cars and show you how to repair them or show you the insides of them. And also we take some crashed uh, supercars and, and fix them, make them better and also we do some uh, upgrades and stuff like that. Um, actually, we have uh, one over here. We're going to be doing uh, in a future episode. We're going to be doing uh, turbo upgrades and injectors and a whole a whole bunch of stuff for that one. So, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe, like, comment, and uh, let's get to it. So, this car start after I put it all together. I started started it up and it started overheating, so I had to you know quickly shut it off. The radiator fans were not coming on, and I was trying to also blip the 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 whole the whole system get all the air out of the system so I went on the computer and I try to find uh, some schematics or any information about this I wasn't able to find anything so this is why I'm really making this video to help anybody else that's having these issues so I found some schematics and they were helpful but they were also misleading and that's why, why I'm making this video. So um, it shows that there are a few fuse boxes. Um, there's actually four, four different places where you could find fuses on this car. You have the driver foot, uh, passenger foot, and you have it right by the battery. Actually, let me show it to you. So there's a, so there's a small fuse uh, there are fusible links actually by the positive part of the battery right here see this box over here so there's three big fuses over there those are the main there's two of them that go to uh, both fans those are the high high amperage ones and then there are the two ones that are the most common over here one on the driver's side and another one on the passenger side but there's another one right here in the trunk there's another fuse box right there so the, the schematics show that the fuse the fuse number one fuse in this fuse box controls the real uh, controls the low amperage of the relays the signal for the relays for the radiator fans but um, I went crazy trying to find it because uh, I mean I didn't try I mean I found it and it was good all the fuses here were good all the fuses there were good and in there they were also good I was just checking all the fuses just regardless and the ones in the trunk there was one missing I didn't know I mean there's a few that are, are you know spots that are empty but that's really why um, that was the problem because it was just a missing fuse. I had to just put a new fuse in, and it and it and it uh, it, uh solved the problem. Um, again, the the fuse is in the trunk, not over here, where like with the literature. That's where it says it's over here. I don't know what I mean. It's again, it's misleading and takes a long time, and you know it takes a lot of time for diagnostic because if the schematics are not accurate. Um, so I'm going to show you now also the two relays where they are because again the schematics were not accurate. So there's two relays uh, that control each one of the fans. Uh, they are both on separate circuits, uh, but they're, they have the same signal uh, fuse. So I'm going to show you where they are because I am also installing the, the airbag. And the airbag is also, you have to take the airbag out, the, the underneath the airbag, like where your knees are. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I already removed it and I'm putting the new one in. So while it's out, I'm going to show you how to get to the fuses and it kind of comes apart so you can work on it easier. Uh, let's get some light in here. So you see these are you know just hanging right now because you know that's how you get it to get to the service part of it. But these are the two fuses for both the radiators, and I was able to jump them. And if you guys ever need to, you could jump them from underneath. 
if you jump it from underneath you can you can jump where is it right there you could jump the these prongs like I, I was able to get it started with jumping the signal wire on this one and both fans turned on so that was a good thing um, and you could also check you check power going to it a lot of the diagnostics can be done from right here so I am going to rehang this thing back up there we go okay There we go. Clicked in place. All right, and then this guy over here. We see, we see this through here. This little computer gets slides in there. There we go. That's that. Now I'm going to put it in the airbag. Here's the connectors for it. Let's put this, close this. So, so the new airbag. Plug in the igniter, click it in, and there's a ground. We would be full. fun or sexy <clears throat> interior light that sits over here That's it. That's how you get to those fuse, those relays over there. So if you ever have issues with your radiator fans, you know where to get them. Uh, this thing's almost done. Really exciting. I think I might take it to the track. Um, just see how it feels and drives. And then we're going to try to find it a new home. A new owner. I'm gonna go take this baby out for a test drive and at the same time I'm going to be uh, taking it for an alignment and hopefully it's gonna get rid of that code once once it's correctly aligned so I'm excited to drive this thing and see see how she drives Actually, maybe I'm just going to film after the alignment because I can't really. Um, I'm gonna probably film after I dry after I get the alignment because I'm gonna put my way down there and the steering wheel's gonna be crooked and everything, and then maybe I can gas it on the way home. I just, I 
just did both side tie rods and I just put them in randomly. I'm really interested to see how far it all, it, it's on the alignment machine. That's where we're going right now. Uh, the car is really solid, goes over bumps very nicely. Very stiff feeling, no, 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 you know, excess noise of the body, you know, flexing or anything like that. Any of the panels are loose. It's, it's like, it drives like a new car. Um, transmission shifts perfectly so far. You know, I still got to put some temperature into this car. Uh, engine oil, engine coolant is is right on air conditioner is running nice so it, like this test drive is kind of like yeah we're going for an alignment but it's also you know I have to look at everything make sure it doesn't overheat no oil leaks uh, you know just got no smells or burning off of anything so that's kind of uh, what I have to do on the first test drive they're kind of uh, nerve-wracking but uh, so far we're doing good uh, you know the Firestone is a few miles away a few minutes away and so far is good so uh, stay tuned I guess so car is on the alignment machine and things are not so far out of, out of whack the back needs to be adjusted cambers are close they all look like it can be fixed easily with an adjustment nothing is this is also like kind of the test of uh, after straightening everything and also the the tie rods I put in the front I just randomly put so um, We'll see, we'll see how we get it. Looks like, yeah. So this is the first setting and we're gonna see what the end will look like, end result. All right, so I finished with the alignment and I uh, gave it a little bit extra camber in the front. Toe is good in the back. We also go gave it a little bit extra camber. But and uh, I step stuck with uh, toe on stock settings. Um, I want to I might take this car on a track just because I never felt a Cayman on the track. Want to get an idea for it. So um I gave it a little bit of a more aggressive um, alignment, but not that crazy. It's, it's not it's not like a track setup, but it's something in, more in the intermediate. Um, and that's it. It won't it won't even uh, make the tires wear too much more on the inside or anything. So um, now I'm gonna start going on a test drive with this thing. Maybe a little bit more of a spirited drive. Just to feel her out. Oh, on the power steering, uh, that light went out. I had to turn the wheel all the way to the right, all the way to the left, have it relearn again before I wasn't able to do it because the alignment was so off that um, that it wouldn't let me go all the way to the ends. Very smooth. Thanks for watching my dad's films. And don't forget, if you ain't got haters, you, you ain't, ain't popping. Pop